Eso es ella. Eso, 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 eso. <risa> They were pointing at me and they were saying, that's all, that's all. What did they say? So, today's tale then. Now, I should say, not really quite sure what to say about today's. Except that it might upset you. Oh, really? Well, okay. we'll see as we get. It does feature something that doesn't. which is not normally allowed to happen. Okay. It's not a, food. In a confession, it's no. not food. No. Okay. But you'll, 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 see, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> right. As I, get, I feel Intriguing. a little bit nervous about this one. Mm. Simon and the Collective, says Mavis. You may recognise this email, as I have sent in a confession for my husband before. Oh. You may recall the incident with the missing toes and the distraught Irish girl read out about a month ago. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, the one in the sea. Yes, yes, exactly. And he made her think that he'd <laughs> lost a toe in the sea. In the sea. Yeah, because of the crabs or something like that. It was anyway, the fishes. The fishes, that's right. Yeah. The fishes had eaten this yeah. time. Anyway, after reading this out on air, my husband has finally talked me into writing to you with my confession, or rather, the most embarrassing moment of my entire life. It will become apparent why I am reluctant to share this, but my husband can be very persuasive. So here goes. My sorry tale goes back ten years, whilst holidaying in Tenerife. Firstly, I would like to point out um, that I've always classed myself as an intelligent lady. However, I sometimes lack his common sense. Right. Anyway, halfway through our holiday, we decided to partake in a trip to the local zoo. We don't usually bother with trips, but this one sounded <laughs> great. So, okay. be a nice day yeah, out. Trips. Trips. Ooh, I, gonna, I don't want to go on a trip. When we arrived at the zoo, we paid our admission fee and we wandered into the park. We then came upon a large pond of fish. Yes, my confession involves uh -huh. fish as well, as did my husband's. <laughs> anyway, to the left of the pond, there stood a sign which read, and I quote, throw a euro in the fish's mouth and make a wish. Oh, I thought, all right, I'll have a go at this. How hard can it be? My purse came out and I managed to rustle up five euro coins. This is where my story takes an embarrassing turn. I stood at the edge of the water, euros in hand. When the live fish came up for air, I positioned myself and I took aim. I was trying to throw the euro in the fish's mouth, as it said in the sign. Somewhat subdued, the fish made a hasty retreat. What with it having <laughs> coins being <laughs> yes. thrown at it. <laughs> Undeterred and determined, I then waited for the next one to come up for air. Again, I took aim, but again missed. When my euros had run out, remember I had five of them, I turned to my partner to ask for some more euros, uh, but uh, it appeared as though he had disappeared. Instead, I was surrounded by holidaymakers looking at me in astonishment. Uh -huh. And it was at this point that a gentleman <laughs> tapped me on the shoulder and said, Well, senorita. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to drop that no, now. No, no, no. Go on. <laughs> Senorita. <laughs> he said, you see the big pink plastic fish, the uh, one with the huge yes. open mouth yeah. right there in the middle of the pond? I think that's the one uh, that you should be throwing the coins at, yeah. Yeah. not the live fish. <laughs> no. By this point, I believe I had traumatized the helpless fish. And I am ashamed to say, <gasps> I'm afraid one of them might have gone to fishy heaven oh, right. as it floated no. on the top yes. of the pond lifeless <laughs> fish plus coins no, no they don't go <laughs> i have never felt so embarrassed in my life and i could not believe that i actually missed the enormous pink fish with the open <laughs> mouth in the middle of the pond when i finally found my husband who was by now propping up the bar oh. I, see. <laughs> I, asked, I asked him why he walked away and left me and his response was are you joking? I wasn't standing around watching you make a complete fool of yourself. My reply to him will not be repeated no. on live radio. I mean, he could have just pointed out your mistake, Mavis, I'd have thought. Throughout the day as we walked through the zoo, people were pointing at me and muttering under their breath, that's her. How do you say that in Spanish? Eso es ella. Eso es ella. Eso es ella. <laughs> they were pointing at me and they were saying, <laughs> What did they say? 
That's what I said. That's yeah, what that's, what you, that's what you Yeah, that's what you said. Exactly the same. Obviously, we didn't see the whole day out at the zoo. And instead of waiting for the coach that brought us, we took a taxi back to our apartment. Because a hasty retreat was the only thing to do. When I have told the select few this story, they cannot quite believe it. But rest assured, it is true and something I will never speak of again now that I've told you. So I'm seeking forgiveness for not only the holiday makers who had to witness this, but also the poor fish who were unfortunate to be at the end of my Euro-throwing antics. I mean, what an astonishing tale that is. Mavis, how could you miss the big pink fish with the gaping gob that where it says, throw the Euros in here? <laughs> 